Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and just so you know, I did not do my hair. It just looked like this naturally. It's all fluffy, and I, I don't know. It just it happened today, and uh, I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna gel it. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it like this. Leave it natural. That's that's the way to do it. Before we get started, as always, be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the like button and hit the notification button and all that stuff that I'm supposed to be calling out at the end of the video, but apparently now you have to call it at the very beginning. Thank you, Vit, Vit, Vitaez, Vit, Vit. Mm, mm, mm. So what are we doing today? Today we are going to go buy our next plot of land because I've got enough money for it, I think, and we're going to be building up the fir trees. So I've already got this pine over here. This is this is a great start for pine, right? Let's buy this little slot right here and we're gonna put um, fir onto it. The little, the fir trees. And that's where we're going to head to. Uh, probably should have grabbed some TNT, uh, seeing as we're going to need to go get furs from the winter biome. Or the t t Teague, something Teague. Hey, hello, Reuven. So, you want to buy some land, eh? Yes, I do. You already have land. Did you want to expand your land? Yes, I want to expand my land. He says something right there. I think he just says okay, but that's that's fine. Cost 33,000 and we can place it anywhere around. Let's place it right there. Boom. 33,000. Yeah. Ooh, that's a big ouch. 679. So, it's going to be 39,000 for the next one. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Should be 39,000 for the next one. Can we go ahead and purchase a second land? Yes, I do. All right, he should say, okay. Oh, it didn't say at that time. 36,000. So it only went up by 3,000. Ooh, fancy. So we can actually expand our, our land twice in one day. Oh, nicely done. And that was all from uh, two loads of ice wood. So if you're, if you're looking for a fast way to improve your property that was the wrong one that's a passenger side seat if you're looking for a fast way to improve your um plot make sure you go get those those ice wood the ice wood is the way in the words of the mandalorian this is the way the mandalorians hey, everybody liked that whoa that was crazy somebody showed me uh they were playing around with a um uh what was it a should i get a second no we we're not going to be that long um, they were playing around with a sled or sorry. Is it sleigh or sled? I don't know. I think it's the sled. It's the three-seater. It looks like a toboggan, right? That thing they stuck it underneath the the car on this side had somebody sit on it on the right side and it turned the back Into this sliding machine. It was crazy Anyhow, they were they were able to slide around so thank you so much for tagging me in the tweet I really appreciate it. if you guys find any crazy glitches like that or if it's just Roblox in general messing up and doing craziness, t tweet it to me and tag me in the uh, in the tweet. I love seeing the the cool little gifts and stuff of uh, when Roblox messes up. Run, run away, wee, kaboom! That was a big blast. It's a blast from the past. So, um, the pine trees are these tall ones right here okay so we already have pine what we need are these the fir tree so you can tell it's a fir because it how tiny it is the short squat ones with lots of limbs those are fir trees so that's what we are collecting today now all their leaves should drop once i hit it boom yeah but then you're left with all these limbs and they're really hard to work with like you, you just can't go off and, and not oh this is going to be forever okay um well how about uh should i should i pause it for you guys or no we've got things to talk about anyway so uh, i'm not really worried about the, all the little limbs themselves but i am worried that if i don't get the the limbs it's not going to go through the the planker the sawmill so I feel like I'm going to waste a bunch of wood here just by skipping over all this extra stuff. Um, I've heard from a little bird that um, Defaultio might be using the um, 
test two module scripts to try and bring the chop to Lumber Tycoon 2. So um, I know that's old news, but I'm, I'm still super excited about it. I'm, I'm ready to see an improvement to the chop system and everything else. I just don't want to see um, something that breaks the game. You know, and he can always revert it if if something goes awry with the uh, the scripting. He's got backups and stuff. So um, a lot of people keep telling me to to go play the um, Lumber Tycoon modded master version or whatever it is. I will tell you right now, I will never go play one of the modded master versions because it uses the stolen script that was taken from Defaultio back in. Uh, 2015, 2016, something like that. I, I won't ever use that. I won't ever go and play those games. In fact, I highly encourage you, if you're playing a game and it's got the stolen assets, it's the, from the stolen map, go report it. Like, that's that's just me, though. Um, Defaultio's kind of been defeated on it, and he's like, that's just public knowledge now. I'm like, dude, don't give up. Don't give up the fight. It's your script. It's it's your baby. You did this. This is yours. You know, this is your gift horse. This is this is don't look it in the mouth. <laughs> is it is it don't beat a dead horse or something like that? I don't I don't remember what the sayings are, so it's like don't beat a gift horse or something. I don't know. Anyhow. Boop 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 boom. I digress. Now, I have a feeling that this is not going to go in there, so when I put this through, we're going to go ahead and uh, glitch it on in. So, that's, that's going to be a big piece, isn't it? If I stick that down to one by one, um, let's, let's go ahead and chop this in two right here. Hopefully this will go through halfway. By the way, I don't plan on making this video very long. It, in fact, it's just going to be uh, us doing the, the fir tree tonight. And you know, just kind of hanging out and chilling, because I've I've got a lot on my plate. Uh oh, oh no, oh no! Did I did I I put it back too soon, didn't I? All right, all right, here we go. <coughs> Move and a bee, a bee bee, a bee bee bee, a bee beep, a bee beep, beep beep. beep. The car went beep beep beep. What what song is that from? That's that's like an oldie song of some kind, but I can't I can't remember exactly what it is because it was like whenever I was a child. But again, I digress. I'm just I'm all over the place tonight. I'm hyper focused on wanting to go play Subnautica. And if you guys haven't seen the series, that is the game that I'm playing right now. That is that is my game. I love Subnautica Below Zero. Hmm. Now, it's qu not quite as amazing as the first time I ever played Subnautica, just saying. And that's just because it was something brand new and never seen before, and I loved it. Uh-oh. Hold on. B. There you go. Come on through. <laughs> Move. And B. And we'll go ahead and pull these on over here. So we know that these are fir trees. Actually, I should I should probably just stick these back in the back of the truck. Okay, because we, we need to take them over to that other plot as well. I don't want to get these mixed up with the, uh, the pine. <clears throat> and for those of you that were wondering, it's the exact same texture and it's the exact same color, but one is pine and one is fir. And the way that you can tell the difference is you have to get a wood detector Take a small sample of the pine or the wood, label it, and stick them, uh, like, then you can test it by taking those pieces and sticking them in front of the, uh, the detector, and it will tell you what kind of wood it is. But that's, that's the only way to tell, because they're that similar. Uh-oh, come on, buddy. Come on, there you go. I knew I'd picked a good one, my best friend. What's that from? That's, is that cars? Cars. Here, scooch back, scooch back. Big piece coming through, big piece. Oh, man, we could almost long plank with that one, couldn't we? Oh man. <clears throat> Last one. 
like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna make this one a short one tonight. I'm just I'm not feeling the lumber for some reason. I had I had a pretty relaxed day, you know. I um, did the work at at work and I, I made the bots thing. For those of you that don't know, I am an a, a RPA developer, um, robotic program assistant, robot program assistant. I don't even know what RPA stands for. Oh my goodness! See, that's how far out of it I am today. Anyhow, um, basically the website that a lot of our bots go and touch and use on their daily basis changed their interface. So I guess what that means for me, I have to go change all of the bots to be able to interact with the new interface. And that was just a pain. I know, I know people feel that and people understand they know they're like code i would i would absolutely die if i had to do that that's just craziness one two three four and five for all of those uh who are finally finishing up their math what does a five by five square contain what is the area of a five by five square you can pause the video i'll give the answer right now that is 25 and that you, you can measure that by x times y X is five, Y is five, five times five is 25. And notice how I said units because we don't know how measurable a unit is. And Roblox uses units. They don't use feet, they don't use inches, they don't use miles. You know, my character, he could be 70 foot tall. We have no idea, you know? And a little human being would be like standing like right here. That's how tall a human being would. Be. like if he was if this guy was a giant but the in context to the reference of where he's standing everything's that big because this is not our world this is not earth this is roblox <clears throat> could be in context to anything but that's why we use units and not measurements well i guess a unit is measurement but not in the context of a system of some kind like feet or the dewey dewey decimal system is it Huey, Dewey, and Louie decimal system? I don't know. Just making stuff up now. But hey, if you stuck with me for this long in the video, thank you. Um, usually I lose a lot of people within that first five minutes. Of course, I think a lot of that has to just do with the bots that are out there. Because there are a ton of video bots and stuff that will just go and watch random videos for like five minutes. I don't know why. I don't know what they're getting out of it, but... It's definitely something that they do. Oh man! Yeah. Like I said, we're just gonna be be building and um, splicing this little area. Um, is there any other trees that I have not got? That I've not gone and created a floor for? Leave me a comment down below. Um, keep in mind, end times I will not be able to get spook. I can't get until. Um, Halloween and Sinister would be an extreme rarity, but I can't get that until um, Halloween as well. So that's going to be one of those things that we just have to live without because we are playing in a private server with nobody around. No help, no assistance, just us. And the reason I'm doing that is because of how bad the public servers have gotten. And I'd like to address that. The public servers, whenever you're playing inside Roblox, any game, you've got to remember that this is the internet. You are attached to the internet, and the internet sometimes is not so friendly. You know, there's a lot of meanness out there. And I know it sounds like I'm talking to a bunch of five years old, five year olds, but I promise you, this is also information for parents. Parents who have something happen on the internet and they're like, I want to take justice. I want this to happen. It's the internet. That's one of the great things and one of the biggest downfalls that we have is our anonymity. And here it goes both ways because being from the hacker side, being from the dark side, um, I also know that even if you have a VPN, even if you do all the stuff to keep your anonymity, Facebook, Google, all these medias, I didn't say, okay, Google, thank you though, I appreciate it. Um, all these social medias, they have so much data on us 
They know our likes, they know where we've been, we, what we've been looking at, what we've purchased, where we're at. I'm like, it is so good, it could predict what, oh, dang it, no. Oh, come here, buddy. I got to save one of you. Dang. Okay, so um, I need another wire, I guess. Do I have another wire? Is that a wire? It's not a wire, that's a, is that neon? It's neon. Didn't I have wire wire somewhere? Come on, wire shark. <laughs> For those of you that got that reference, thank you. Appreciate it. One of the best networking tools I've ever seen. Sniff the internet. It's so you can sniff packets. No, I'm not talking about like sugar packets. I'm talking about network packets. And a lot of people think just because I'm a programmer, I don't know anything about networking. Now, um, I will admittedly say that I have pretended to not know something about network whenever I'm at work, just because that's the network people's job. That's, that's what they do. I wouldn't want them like coming in and telling me how to do my programming or giving suggestions on what should be programmed. So I kind of feel it's a courtesy to do the same thing on the reverse side and not tell them how to do like Wireshark and stuff like that. But I mean, they know how to do Wireshark. So whenever I hear them talking about network stuff, I try to stay out of it. When they hear me talking about programming stuff, they try to stay out of it. Hello, Tom. Hello, sir. Would you like to buy this wire for $205? It's a bit expensive for just some copper wire. Yes, sir, but this is Roblox inflation. It's not actually $205. Really? Yes. Think of it more as a conversion rate. What do you, what do you mean? So, for example, sir, you see how you have $3,149 in your account. Did you just look at my bank account? Well, no, that's not the point. I want you to move the decimal place over two points. So it's $31.49. Think of that as the actual capitalism here. Oh, so like the US dollar. Um, if I said I have $3,100, I actually only have $31. Correct, sir. That makes a little bit more sense. So... You're not actually paying $205, you're paying 205 Roblox Lumber Tycoon 2 money. So it's actually only $2.05. That makes perfect sense. Oh my gosh, I never thought of it that way. Look at this. $2.05. $2 okay, okay, what's a button? $3.20. <gasps> what? Hold on. That's only $122, which would be the normal price of like a chop saw, $122. That's actually really cheap when you think about it in, in dollars and not Roblox money. $5.20 for a switch, I could understand that. 20 bucks, $20.40. That makes so much more sense. Oh my gosh, why did I never see this before? 12 cents for a hatchet. And that's just because, you know, it's a it's a cheap hatchet. That's correct, sir. These these are the cheapest manufacturers. Room. That's that's very cool. Tom, thank you so much for t telling us that. That's that is so enlightening. I'm going to I'm going to take a selfie with you. Oh, <laughs> thank you, sir. Boop. Screenshot. Okay. Let's get out of here. Have a good day, sir. You too, Tom. Thank you so much for telling me that. That was so enlightening. I love it. So, um, does the prices make a little bit more sense if you if you go and, and look at what stuff costs inside lumber now? It does, doesn't it? it? It's like, oh my gosh, why did I never see that before? All right, here we go. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I need to start. How, how do I do this? Okay, you know what? We can do this. Oh man, why why is that so hard to like maneuver? Hmm.
Fur. Is it F I R or F U R for a fir tree? I think it's an I, so I may have messed that up. All right, let's let's try that again. Fir tree, F I R. Okay, Google. How do you spell fir tree? Fir tree is spelled F I R T R E E. F I R. Oh gosh. That's not. Okay. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. Fur. <laughs> wow. Uh, pine fur. So fur trees over here, pines over here. And you can't tell a, a difference in either one they just kind of blend in as as one right there okay i think that's good for tonight and like i said I'm, i was going to try and make it a little bit shorter like eight to ten minutes but it looks like we went way past that by 21 minutes that's fine and i'm going to shorten my outro tonight so let's just do this thank you everyone for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe love you guys very much <sighs> outro Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com. Outro.